The Rug on Soul 7 is the industry's first 12-inch tablet to feature an Arrow Lake processor with built-in AI capabilities, along with 512GB M2 SSD, 16 gigs of DDR5 memory and Windows 11. So let's check out what this thing can do. So here we have the rug on Soul 7, and as you can see, it looks like a very rugged Windows tablet with IP65, MIL standard 810H, and MIL standard 461G certifications. You know it's gonna withstand its fair share of drops and falls. Now on the front, we've got a 12 inch 60 Hertz display with a resolution of 2160 by 1440 and a brightness of a thousand nits. And it's also protected by Gorilla Glass with a 10 point capacitive touchscreen that also supports gloves. It also has palm and water rejection, so whether you're out in the rain a bit or you like to rest your hand on the device's display while using it, then it's not gonna cause a problem. We've got an 11 megapixel selfie camera in the top center, and I like that we've also got this privacy slider that we can shut when the camera's not being used, which also protects the lens. We've got some shortcut buttons for things like home, volume, and settings over on the right-hand side of the display. And over on the right edge, we've got two USB-C 3.2 ports that support Thunderbolt and charging and a 3.5 millimeter audio connector. Over on the left-hand side, we've got a USB-A 3.2 port. And up top, we've got an RJ45 port, which can support things like barcode readers. And I like how all of the ports are also protected with these covers. Now we've got a docking connector on the bottom along with a pass-through and a keyboard lock. And then over on the rear, we've got an 11 megapixel autofocus camera with an LED flash. Now on the large back panels, we've got dual hot swappable batteries that provide 2,935 milliamp hour capacity, and they also support fast charging. And slot one also has a micro SIM slot under the battery, and it also supports eSIM. Over here, we also have a quick remove SSD as well as an expansion slot. So plenty of options for ports and connections there, and we can attach things like 2D barcode scanners, NFC, fingerprint or card readers, and even more. So this Rug on Soul 7 is powered by the Intel Ultra 5 2.25U CPU, but there's also a version available with the Ultra 7 2.55U, and it's paired with 16 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, as well as 512 gig storage. My main use for the tablet is of course productivity. And of course, because it's running Windows 11, it means I can run all of the apps like Photoshop and Premiere Pro and Blender, and it makes it a very useful for a travel device. Now I first tested it with Premiere Pro and I can happily edit through my timeline and also get relatively smooth playback despite my H.264 videos not being great for video editing. With Photoshop, it again performed really well and I can happily edit away on all my photos, do things like transforms and effects, and it all just runs smoothly. Now I also installed Blender and tried some 3D modeling. And again, it performs well, as you can see here. It's of course not gonna be great for doing a final render, but I can simply just create them on the go and then I can send them to my home workstation if I need to render them. The tablet's not really aimed at gamers, but I also installed Rocket League just to test it. And as you can see here, I can even play Rocket League directly on the tablet. Now, for those of you concerned with synthetic benchmarks, I ran it through Geekbench 6 first, where it scored 2,222 for single core, and then 7,134 for multi core. And then we get an OpenCL score of 13,251 on the GPU benchmark. Over on Cinebench 2024, we get 406 for multi core, and then 81 for single core. And then I also ran it through 3 d Mark's Nomad Light Benchmark, where we get a score of 1,013 with an FPS of 7.51. Now, I'm sure most of you have used Windows 10 or 11, so I'm not going to go through all of the features of that. But the rug on Soul 7 also has these shortcut buttons on the side, which are really useful. We've got the power button, the home button, and the volume buttons. And then we've got these two shortcut buttons as well. If you press P1, it brings up this dashboard where we have things like button locks, battery percentage, and we can also lock the touchscreen or even change the touchscreen settings, as well as changing the power modes and display settings. Now, button settings allow you to customize the buttons to your own preference. And as you can see, I've got P1 to open up the dashboard and P2 opens up Windows camera if I need to take a photo. But if you press the down arrow, there's plenty more to choose from. Now, under touch settings, you can also enable the stylus that comes with the tablet for those of you that prefer to use one. And the great thing is it doesn't have replaceable nibs or anything. So it's something that's not going to wear over time. Now it's also a great tablet for just browsing the web and this is a huge advantage for me as we get the desktop site rather than the mobile sites and even on a content heavy site such as YouTube you can see it still runs really smooth and responsively and if we play a video you can see under the stats we're not getting any drop frames either. 
Now, for me personally, I just much prefer the desktop version of Chrome for browsing the web or doing emails than I do with the Android or iOS apps. With my Bluetooth mouse and keyboard attached to this, it's been one of my favorite aspects of the tablet. Now, of course, you can also use this to watch the media, and I've tested it with plenty of different content, and it all plays perfectly. And of course, we've got dual speakers as well, so we'll just check out the audio samples now. When it comes to connectivity, we've got Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, GPS, and we've also got 4G LTE, as well as 5G at sub 6 gigahertz. So whether you're on public Wi-Fi or using your own SIM, then you've got all the connectivity you need. I think the highlight for me about the Rugon Soul 7 is that it's such a rugged device that means I don't have to worry about breaking it, so I don't have to be as careful as I would with, say, my laptop, yet I still get access to Windows and I can access all of the apps I need and use it at home. Now, of course, I'm also a home user, but this is greatly suited to the workplace. Not only is it going to allow you to run all of your Windows apps portably, but you also don't have to worry so much about staff breaking it. When it comes to the cameras, we've got a 2 megapixel camera on the front, and here are some pictures I've taken with that. And then over on the rear, it's an 11 megapixel camera, and here are some photos I've taken with that. Here's another one with the video sample from the rug on Soul 7. Just a quick walk around. Just to show you the video quality we're going to get from the tablet. And here we are again, but this time using the selfie camera. So we'll just do a bit of panning around. And this is the video quality you're going to get from the selfie camera. When it comes to the unboxing, if we open it up and take a look, you can see we've first got some documentation that also shows you all the buttons, etc. Next, we've got the Rug on Soul 7 tablet. Underneath that, we've got the power cable, a carry strap and a clip. We've then got the stylus for those of you that prefer using one. And finally, we've got the power brick for the power plug. So overall, if you want a rugged tablet that's able to run Windows 11 well thanks to its Arrow Lake CPU, then I would recommend the Rug on Soul 7. Whether it's for home use, productivity, or a tablet for the workplace, it just brings the ease of Windows without the worry of a fragile device. Now, of course, for those of you that want to go and grab one, I've placed the link down in the description below. And hopefully I've covered everything for you guys in today's video. But if there's anything I've missed or you've got any questions at all, then just ask them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech.